Ooh. I got two honorable mentions, and uh, and then who I gotta give it to. And um, before we do that, let's shrink this down. And Beetlejuice style. Beetlejuice style. First movie did was Joker, and who else other than Joaquin Phoenix would be on the board for that one? Let's see who joins Joaquin Phoenix in episode two. Take it away. All right. You said you had two honorable mentions. I yep. have an honorable mention here. First, I want to give an honorable mention to Rob Lowe. Enough can't be said for his his when when you have to down even though, even though they toned him down, he was still you, you can tell he's like pretty boy Rob Lowe and and the things he was saying. He like you came over to just tell me goodbye and, and no, he came like Ricky Gervais's character like you came over just to talk shit like you know I actually came over to say goodbye mm -hmm. and then all the other stuff just came out. Yeah. Like, I, I've never really liked you. I think you're a little bitch. Little yeah, bitch boy. I don't understand you, yeah. and I'm intimidated by things that I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't like not understanding <laughs> things. <laughs> he it's, played uh, Chris Traeger on Parks and Recreation. He's he plays a similar character there, where uh, he's like that. He, uh, no, not similar. Chris Traeger is like overly nice, but he's just so good at being. He's he, he's good at being a dick and still like seeming like likable. Mm. No, I, I agree. My genetics, my confidence, my. Charisma. That was one of my honorable mentions, and my my other honorable mention, of course, will be uh, of course Philip Seymour Hoffman on this. I mean, this and the see, you you forget sometimes how great people are, what they did, and how they took they took their craft seriously. And, and sometimes when things take them away from us, we we just we, we go back and forget. So if you even I know you haven't even seen the Mission Impossible, you got to go back and see when he played. I the saw villain. the scenes. Yeah, I just go, go back and watch the damn movie, I, I plan man. On watching it, but I gotta rewatch part two. I you can't even feel the gravity of his scenes if you haven't watched the movie. Oh, I mean you can, but not show some respect. No, not in the context that you can't even feel the full gravity. He can create the full gravity in a single moment. So you're saying Tom Cruise can't hold his shoestring? I'll, I'll say that. Okay, go ahead. Not I'll to get... Tom Cruise's face, because <laughs> I couldn't look down that far. Oh my gosh, Les Grossman is gonna. This fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, fuck, fuck yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, my honorable mention is Philip Seymour Hoffman as well, because yeah, the man does so much with so little in every movie. I mean, along came Polly. What's up? I just shrugged. <laughs> the role of Jesus will now be played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, my other honorable mention god i wish that bar scene with philip seymour hoffman could have just went on for like 20 more minutes it least. has to be some outtakes somewhere yeah like if you have the dvd or something um i i the uh, uh ricky gervais um i would i would have given him the scene stealer but i don't want to go a whole season just giving the the lead star of the movie the the scene stealer award i mean he obviously carried the movie he also wrote the line, so he's doing his own lines. He's directing it on top of that. So there's no doubt how talented Ricky Gervais is. But one of the one of the shining moments for me in the movie, like the the breakout, like, oh shit, I didn't expect to see him. And then this whole cameo is fucking hilarious, is Edward Norton from beginning to end in his like his Boston, his ridiculous Boston accent, all of his mannerisms, like, he had probably two and a half, three pages of script, and he did everything with it. And I don't think there was a payday for this, for, like, the cameos like that. I've made a terrible mistake. He did it for a, at least a little, at most a little bit, at least nothing, to pull off that performance that he did. And, I mean... It's what, like two and a half minutes, maybe two minutes uh, of uh, screen time, and he makes every single moment of it count. I'm gonna go with my my scene still was Jennifer Garner. I I thought about it like from a standpoint of who else did I see just as much as Ricky Gervais in the film, and and don't get me wrong, of course it would have been easy to give it to Ricky Gervais. He's brilliant, he's mastermind, but I I can't say that. I mean, don't get me wrong, like literally, like I I. I saw him more in the writing than I did on screen, if that makes sense. His character mm -hmm. was still good on screen, not taking anything away, but you, I can still see him in the writing. And for what Jennifer had to do to play off of him, that's hard in itself 
in itself but i'm like she actually made me fucking laugh all the way through it like and you like you say you saw her more depth from her character than anyone else's character like the layers started to peel back from her and it wasn't just like a band-aid pull like it was like no she was like no your genetics are still fucked up this that and the other like no i don't want to do it i don't want this but little by little even when she went and tried to wipe that ice cream that had been shoved into that kid's face by that bully um she couldn't get it off but she was like and even she still was gonna go marry the dude it made it believable yeah. And so to me, she's there throughout the movie, and, and she, she, she in the beginning, uh, you know, she's like the way she's so. Uh, it seems cold hearted, but it's right. not because just how everybody is. She's just matter of fact. But the way that she says delivers those lines that are like direct insults to somebody's face, and she does it so. It's, she just she made it seem like it was a natural thing, which it is supposed to be in this universe. She did so good with that, and then the way her uh, the way she conveyed naivety. And like just being totally gullible, but at the same time not coming off as gullible or naive. Just like I, I don't know, she seemed like it always seemed like she kind of uh, uh, instinctively knew that there was something awry, but she didn't like. But she's a product of the world. It's like being trapped in, in and you can't get out. It's like being awake in your own body. But she, she definitely embodied it for me, man. From from beginning to end, and like you say, the change that she uh, eventually made to me—that's what won it over for me. Like Edward Norton c- cannot take it from him. He did his thing, but I got to give it to uh, Jennifer Garner. Yeah, I think they both brought a hundred and ten percent, but she had uh, her hundred and ten percent was much more to fill than his hundred and ten percent. Yeah, he wasn't no screen. He, he filled a hundred and ten percent of a cup. She filled a hundred and ten percent of a pitcher. Right, but uh, his cup didn't run over with any t- screen time with Gervais, so I didn't see him up against. She had multiple minutes with him, having to riff, having to banter, uh-huh. having to do it. He had Louis C.K. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. He did. He, he did. He did riff with him a little bit, but it's just it's so much, man. I yeah, mean, no. She. I, 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 I'll, I'll concede on that one. I think. Uh, I, t- I think you're just trying to get Edward up there because you know if we finish this show without. Uh, uh, I said I concede. Uh, Edward Norton can can. Uh, my mistake. <laughs> All right, Dirt. Tyler. Edward, Edward Norton can. <laughs> Yeah, I mean he's he was great, but and he uh, did yeah. deliver one of the greatest not funny lines in the film in a funny film, which is hey. Well, I'm relieved you're not a couple of black guys. I didn't want to shoot you by mistake and let my and lose my service weapon like yeah. that. Shit, it was just like, oh, okay, so that word you're not worried about losing life. Mm-hmm. You're worried about losing that service weapon. Yeah, I mean he he brought it for sure, but his was a much more concentrated part. She right. had to she had to bring consistency there. The there orgasm she, she went she went upstairs. She had to act like she just came from upstairs masturbating. Yeah, and I was just like, oh my god, that's how I feel. I think a female would do that. All right, congratulations to Jennifer Garner. Oh, get on that board. See, we are equal opportunity show, ladies. You're not up there because you're a female. You're up there because you killed it. I wasn't talking about a female. Huh? I'm talking about anybody that or uh, masturbates on screen or off screen. Oh. Yeah. Well, then get Le- Louis C.K. for the... Uh, oh! Honor- cancel culture. Uh, poor, poor Louis Calvin Klein. All right. All right.